You are walking a blessed path. Pay attention to the signs around you. 1. Be willing to accept abundance and financial increase as your birthright. Abundance in all areas of your life, including financial, is a gift. You don't have to earn the right to be rich or do something spectacular to deserve success and personal fortune. The only requirement for being wealthy is to accept the gift. 2. Expect abundance and financial increase as the only acceptable state, being unwilling to accept anything less. What we focus on, we attract. What we expect, we tend to get. Most people go around expecting bad things to happen. And you know what happens. They continue to have all sorts of bad stuff showing up. They struggle financially. They hate their job. They are unhappy with their spouse. Their kids drive them crazy. And they spend much of their time complaining about all the unhappy, undesirable conditions of their life. If you want to be rich, if you want to live an abundant life, you must expect abundance and financial increase and be unwilling to even acknowledge anything less than what you desire as your part of the world. Three, think only thoughts of success, prosperity, love, and abundance. What you think about, you bring about. You can't go around focusing on everything that's wrong in your life, thinking negative, fearful, desperate thoughts of lack and poverty, and expect to live a rich, abundant life. If you want to attract wealth and live a successful, prosperous life, you must fill your mind with successful, prosperous thoughts. Remember the five magic words. Your thoughts create your life. This is the idea. Your thoughts create your life. Your success, wealth, and personal fortune isn't out there somewhere. It starts right inside your head. You create your world in your mind by the thoughts you dwell on most of the time. If you want to be rich and be successful, make sure that you are dwelling on successful, positive, prosperous thoughts all day long. Four, speak only words of success, prosperity, love, and abundance. Just like your thoughts, what you talk about, you bring about. Your words are charged with prospering power. They're also charged with poverty power. It's up to you what condition you create in your life. You decide by choosing your words. You need to speak only words of success, abundance, and prosperity. You must speak kind, uplifting, faith-filled words. You must use your words to bless your life. The scriptures say, we hold the power of life and death, blessings or curses in our mouth using our words. Your words are very, very powerful. They can create or destroy, build up or tear down, cause fabulous success or immense failure. Your words are commands carried out precisely as you dictate. Choose your words carefully and be sure that you want to live the life that you describe in every word you say. Five, act successful and wealthy at all times, operating out of love and abundance. There is an old saying, 
fake it until you make it. When it comes to success and wealth, you must learn to act as if. Wealth is a state of being. Success and riches are created first in the mind. There's a period of time that it takes for your success, wealth, and personal fortune to be created in your mind and then show up in your reality. We call this lag time. Although I do believe that you create instant results in your mind, it doesn't usually happen that way in your outside reality. This is the time when you need to act as if. Allowing time for your circumstances to catch up with your inner thought world. This is a very important lesson to learn. You must choose to be successful and wealthy, created in your mind, and then immediately begin acting as if in your outside reality. You'll never get rich if you go around acting poor. If you will begin thinking and speaking like the rich, successful person you are, and immediately begin to act as if you're already living the life you desire, your reality will soon follow suit. I guarantee it. Six, be open and receptive to new avenues of income. Your wealth and abundance does not come from your employer the government, your business, or family. Your abundance comes from the universe, which is unlimited in its supply, ready and able to meet every one of your needs and desires. When you begin to imagine your new, rich, abundant life, you must be careful that you don't try to limit where or how your abundance will be supplied. Don't believe that your only channel of supply is through your job or through your current source of income. In reality, the universe supplies all your needs. The universe owns everything and is in control of your supply. Be open to amazing channels of supply wherever or however they may come to you. Seven. Operate out of abundance, recognizing that the universe is unlimited in its supply of anything and everything you want or desire and is ready and willing to provide it for you. There is no lack in our world. The only place lack or poverty exists is in your own mind. The universe lacks nothing Everything is available in a never-ending, inexhaustible supply. This includes money and riches. Begin to notice your beliefs about supply. Do you see things, especially money, as being limited or scarce? Or do you believe there is an unlimited supply of everything you desire and that all your needs will be met out of this never ending abundance. You must embrace the idea of abundance and unlimited supply. Eight, do not work for money, but instead insist that money work for you. Most of us were taught that the way to success was to study hard in school, get good grades, go to college, graduate, and get a job, work hard and make sacrifices to prove your company that you are a valuable asset, then retire 40 years later. This concept is about as relevant today as living in a cave and using a stone tablet and chisel as your primary method of correspondence. Working hard does not bring success and riches not if you value your freedom. Creating your true successful and financial abundance requires a shift in the way you think about money. You are the master. Money is your servant. You don't work for money. Money works for you. 
If you have it backwards, like the 97% of people who work for their money, success and real wealth will continue to elude you. It's when you finally wise up and put your money to work for you that you discover what true financial freedom is all about. Nine, live in a state of thanksgiving and maintain an attitude of gratitude. The universe loves and rewards a grateful heart and attitude. Begin looking for opportunities to express your thanks and gratitude. Create a gratitude journal and write down all the big and little blessings that you receive each day. You'll be surprised how many there are. Practice living with an attitude of gratitude and you will find that your blessings increase many times over. The more grateful you are, the more you will be grateful for. Let the universe and others know just how grateful and thankful you are for the many blessings that come your way. Last but not least, 10. Practice giving as a way of life and tithe 10% of your income back to the universe. You can't be a taker in the land of givers. Our universe is designed around the concept of contribution and giving. As you give, so shall you receive. You must become a giver. Most of the richest and ultra successful people throughout all time have been big time givers. It's the whole idea of sowing and reaping. You can't collect a harvest if you've never sown a seed. Giving is the cornerstone of any good plan for success and wealth. Just as with giving, many of the richest, most successful people throughout time have understood the power of tithing. I personally believe it's the single greatest secret to success and personal fortune you will ever uncover. A tithe is simply the first 10% of your income given to the source of your spiritual support or instruction. Tithing is not a charity and it's not about giving to a good cause. That's giving. Tithing should go to the source of your spiritual support. This is a very important distinction to make. Your tithe belongs to the universe. It's a payment back to the universe. The scriptures tell us that our tithe will bring back a multiplied return. The rule of thumb is a tenfold return. Tie pay men if you feel abundant. Watch this important message right now.